Fnatic build into the group. Well, not today. They have built in on day one on map one. But Na'Vi looking to bring a bit of a pace into the T side. They show Hut. Simple pokes that bomb into the A side, but it's all a ramp play. It's all a ruse. Double setup. Even a third at hell. This is going to get messy, messy with the nade ready. And Na'Vi won't commit. They're just playing with the hearts and minds of Fnatic. Electronics outdoor. They're going to drop down vent, meet the man who has already sent himself down lower. Boomish with a lot of room. Fnatic grouping a ramp for the retake. And they've seen that bomb cross. They know what's up. Yeah, bomb's being stuck and it's a full five retake over at ramp. Let's see the cavalry moving in. But all oh, the lances, the spearmen of Na'Vi wait on the other side. And Ooh. yeah, it is an absolute slaughter like there. That, yeah. Oh, someone getting hyped as well. Yeah, now we got to be feeling good, right? Uh, I, you got to uh, wonder where their heads would have been at if they lost that first map after not only the lead, but the two map points. And uh, even so, now we come out on top. And now on their map pick, and such a good map for them, this is going to be a really hard game for Fnatic. They have that buffer of the CT side, but it's already coming down to four spies, many of which were won in the first game. It's even more got us out of regulation. Deagles like this. Simple's got an AK, found three in the pistol. Everyone else, Galil or Mac. Alex Cross Secret. This is a one and done spot you would expect. But Mezzi could try and bait for him. Will Electronic check? Not if he dies immediately, but there's a trade instead. That works wonders for Fnatic. Arming Alex down lower. Navi, where do they want to go now? Grouped ramp side. And another double setup. Wherever Navi go, Fnatic have got the reads. That's if Na'Vi go, and it's a big if. Bits going back out to the lineup. This is a hell smoke. Gonna land in front of those windows. It's all a bit of a fake to sell Boomich's position outside. Maybe they want to split A after all with Boomich coming in through main. Util getting dumped every which way, but it is ramp after all. You never know where they're going to come until they're right in your face. Chiquinho dead, and now it's Brolin on the corner. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, the age old saying, here's Brolin with that deagle. <laughs> Good for one, traded after that. Dirty mind, Harry. No, man, I, I, just, I just think you were right on. You never know yeah, when they're yeah, going to come, yeah. so they're right in your ah! face. And look, Boomich, scared a wrap onto Alex. He spurred all over him there with the MAC-10. Oh, and now out. Crims, all alone, with just a Deagle and a MAC-10. <laughs> oh. Nice shots. Clean as can be, and well, cleaner than Harry. Get back in the bin. Now we go 2 0 up, and. <laughs> but I have to have the eco, don't they, Harry? Yeah, they do. And, you know, that's fine. You can still, you know, bring out some pistols here. Look for maybe a bit of a lobby crunch. We all love them. Yep. Some Zeese, maybe? I wouldn't mind a Zeese right about now. Yeah. Plus, oh. it's always poetic seeing Na'Vi get Zeused. Yeah, true, true. Also, prolifically, Boomich is a big-time Zeusa on the Na'Vi squad. We'll have to see if that happens in maybe the second half, because right now he's just getting entry kills outside. The pistols push him to their death. Tip taps. Mezzi's P250. It looked good in the first map, but I don't think it's going to be winning a round here for Fnatic. Something would have to go very, very wrong. Any Mezzi fans? Oh, yeah. Electronic ain't. He's wrecked him here. Just Chiquinho left, and he's got to do the honorable thing, and that's give this round over. Electronic is just going to wait to collect this kill for free. But now this is where the real game is afoot, right? The gun's going to come back through for Fnatic. If you remember, it took them a little while to, uh, to really find their footing back on overpass. Let's see if we get a more immediate start out with them here and yeah, now. I would say that's a necessity now. Like, Na'Vi aren't going to give you the room to come back in this one. They know what they're up against. There's a little more expectation. And I think that is shown as well by the fact that Na'Vi even picked T-Side overpass to begin. Like, having a lot of faith mostly in their style and what they've been working on. But also, maybe not having faith that Fnatic can keep things together when things get wild on that CT side. You don't have the experience. You know, even Alex was saying in that interview that, yeah, I mean, practice is one thing, but it, it doesn't really matter until you try a fish 
officials and you see what's up. Pumic just one smoke's all he needs. Electronic, quick shot into May. Messi in the corner. Though. Worked out for Alex. He'll get another kill. Pumic going to check that from now on, I expect. Crims in the open and got to be very careful with his timing. Caught by Simple. There's an AWP dropped in, but Simple is smoking himself off, making sure he has an exit route. Chikino, nowhere to go but the grave. Three on two, and then catching rotates out heaven. Messi alone on B, looking to save. Yeah, more of this uh, dominant start out of NRV. Yeah, flexing. Good to see, right? Moving on to their map pick that we have them looking nice and fired up here. And I think honestly, if you're if you're someone like Simple, right? I think in a way, you know, you, you like the challenge. You know, you like that Fnatic are pushing you a little bit, but you still want to show that you're the dominant force at the end of the day. So this is a fourth for Na'Vi and the first rifle round brushed aside with without really breaking a sweat Messi might not get away with this uh -oh. oh he will manages to hold on to the AK gets it out of there he is being hunted down through the lobby but they won't get to him in time and so Messi gets out a head to head of Messi and Simple by the way is not, not like a comparison I thought would get drawn too many times or like really ever but Yes. Man, like, this guy's got it. This guy's got the goods, Hugo. That he does. Here's a bit of an eco around that save gun. And you want to talk about head-to-head? -head? Well, Messi won it out in the first map. Six to four against Simple in his favor. In terms of the Orpers, Simple was 11 and three over Chiquinho. And 15 and three over Alex. So, I mean, oh, Simple stats are nasty. The only guys to beat him were Messi and Brolin, but, you know, head-to-head, -head, it's lacking a lot of context. Anyway, nice nade. Messi dunking electronic outside. This is still a winnable round. We've seen even Na'Vi come out clutch with uh, one gun buys. Simple again, it's a double wrap setup and bit's been picked off. Crims they don't know about. Simple will surely check this, but his attention is first on Brolin. And Messi who's coming from hell. Three ramp players once more. Surely Na'Vi is scared out. They only know about two. That might tempt them into their own death. But really, you're waiting on Boomich, who can clear up the ramp. And you know this rifle ain't far away either. Messi's jumping on the back of the site. That gets heard by Boomich back in spawn. So he goes up, setting up for the hell play. Trying to wrap A. The bomb now needs to be retrieved by Perfecto. This means Crims plays no part of the round, not yet. But Messi's considering it. Oh, <laughs> and he doesn't miss those, does Messi? Okay, Fnatic, they're always managing to, to get away with, with something in rounds like this, where yeah. they've got, you know, a hero rifle, they're partial bought on the rest of the gang. Messi, the man to make it happen. All him as well, like three kills. I love it. You know, you have that one gun, you're everywhere. First kill, nade outside. Second kill, ramp kill. Third kill, heaven wrap from A. Like, he's everywhere. You're trying to avoid the rifle. You're just walking in. Perfecto, 10 seconds, mate. Is this a save? Surely you're just getting an exit and giving it up. You can't plant, you can't win. And so he will save his dignity and his gun. Messi, spam him, do it. You won't. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So the AK manages to get out of there. You can still reinvest here if you're Na'Vi. For Fnatic, you're very happy with this, right? Beautiful dig from Brolin, but it's the AK work of Messi. As you mentioned, so mobile yeah. that whole time. They and are you, just trying to outposition him. It's hilarious. You're drawing these comparisons and you're talking about him v Simple. Well, that's what Simple does. That is the best <laughs> on this CT side. Like, when he has that orb, man, he is absolutely everywhere. It feels like this guy, like, has, you know, no clip. So, watching demos, maybe. Right now, Fnatic are looking to build off the back of that one round win. Can't be a one and done. Lobby's taken. Bit knows. And some of Na'Vi have even made their way down B. Electronic on the cross again. Simple opening up outside. Kills Alex in the garage. Shakino goes in front of the Molotov. Trying to keep the secret info. And it's worked well. He's realized that they've gone back up. Or at least so that seems. And so now Mezzi and co play for A. As Na'Vi set up utility on the roof. It certainly does look like that top hit. But Na'Vi is so great at faking it out and rotating late. Electronic lining up Util 4A and everyone in the lobby getting suited and booted. Oh, 
Chiquinho has just dropped down B. That's because, you know, there was this outside contact made earlier. Electronic is still down here. And so Chiquinho is kind of lost to the sands of time on this one, right? Still triple A though. They're relying on this A-hole coming up big, and Crims is going to break the silence first. Now, Messi spotted up on the rafters. Crims Ooh. and Brolin both toppled by this split out of Perfecto and Electronic. Giacchino with this orb up the vent, sidelined by Simple. Yeah. That's the round for Na'Vi, and he doesn't even grab the AWP. He's very, very keen to run that rifle right now, is simple. It hurts for Chiquinho as well, right? Like, he, he was beefing the, the entire round, and he realized Electronic was faking after that molly came in, and he pushed past, and he even rotated up A, Harry. He went up and he stacked with four strong on A, and at a certain point, when it goes quiet there for Na'Vi, you're wondering, like, are they actually committing? Na'Vi didn't actually throw the nades off of roof. They just came back down ladder. They were just trying to fake that they weren't in lobby because Fnatic took it earlier. And then Chiquinho doubts himself. He goes back lower, you know, fair enough, needs that info, and then he's just left on his own, and everyone in A falls. Two players for Na'Vi keep it going, and find a fifth, but this orb is back out. That's a nice opener. It's often hard to, to deal with electronic outside. Some of the things that this guy does here, flat out disgusted. So, Removing him early makes this outside aggression kind of taper off. It's left to Boomich, and he's going to play more of like a, a sentinel role, like holding the area, keeping a watch over it. Ooh, nice. there's the flick for Giacchino. Perfecto on the receiving end of that. Yeah, I think Na'Vi going to be scared away from Ramp this entire game. Like, every time they've gone, it's been a stack. I didn't think this is what we were going to get out of Boomich. He's seizing an opportunity right now that could tear this round away. All these efforts Three. could be in vain because Boomich has come up into heaven. Crims with the lobby aggro. That is a perfect response to losing heaven. And it's left Boomich in a 1v2. He's had to concede heaven, concede the A-bomb site. And so he's got to look for solutions oh, elsewhere. Bomb. He's grabbed the bomb from Hart. He's got 35 seconds to play with. Boom, it's big brain on his shoulders. What's he gonna hatch up in this clutch attempt? to be is free and Boomich is starting to work that one out unless he wants to double flank heaven which would be audacious Boomich will drop down lower he's got util to cut off choke points here molly deep covers double from the inside and a smoke can go on the door if he wants instead it's the plan Boomich gets it in he's gonna get that at least but now they are already ready to react Boomich faking his escape but it's only that a fake Boomich sits and even tries to move into Decon. Trying to take the 1v1, and Messi's ready. Won't be working out for Boomich. Nice try in the clutch there. A great round out of Crims. Like you said, perfect play to push lobby. And he even finds two kills before Boomich trades, it, uh, trades him on that heaven flank. He knew there was a timer on his position in the hut. Is he going to close? So, Fnatic finding two, keeping us interested. Yeah, I mean, it's this response out of Crims that, like, saves the round, really, right? If he yeah. tried to hang around, even if he directed his, his, his efforts towards stopping that heaven wrap, yeah. would have been a, a Boomich frag all day, and then you wouldn't have dealt with that bomb rotation through the lobby. So, good stuff from Crims. That's a bit of the experience shining through. Knowing, you know, weighing up what's maybe the better play, the more realistic option there as well. Roland's going to try and get hey, cute with it on the that outside cross. Awesome, by the way. They, you know, usually the only player who can stop you from getting secret or at least spot you is that silo spawn. And Boomich got the spawn. He would have seen Brolin. But Fnatic threw a nade that not only, like, hit him, but a bloom of smoke. And suddenly Boomich can't see. They should know from the one way, but Brolin doesn't care. He spams through it, taking down Simple and dropping below with 20 health. Perfect play out of Fnatic. Set up Bo uh, Brolin, rather. Now Na'Vi have got to pick up the pieces of this round in a four on five with Fnatic ready to aggress lobby at a moment's notice. Electronic again tasked with selling B, but with no grenades, got to win a fight via an org with a Galil. And it's easy. Just do it like that. No helmet for Brolin. He was low anyway. And the rest of Na'Vi are lobby bound. Yeah, uh, you know, right now, Electronic is just trying to put that cedar down in your mind that, oh, maybe there's Ooh. maybe there's more folks down on B. Now with the vent drop coming through, it will be that lower rotation. Alex already out at ramp, and he's going to put up a really nice hold. All the kills Wow! for Alex on the B hold. 
Jaquinho crunches the lobby. He disrupts that. He goes, yeah, right there. They're soaring through right now. They're dropping down the vent. And Alex knows he's on a timer, right? Especially with Electronic already in that B site. It was pretty ballsy to commit to such a deep hold yeah, angle. Just, and yet he still manages to make it work. I just don't think Na'Vi expected that, right? Like, they've been given a lot of respect. Think about the pistol round, for example, where they go B and they play five on five. Like, Fnatic want to group in together for retakes. And that's a 3v3. You know, Alex dies there and you're screwed in that round. So it's a massive risk reward play and it comes out clutch for Fnatic. Now Na'Vi on an eco, been broken. It almost went the other way around. Could have been Fnatic getting rolled. Instead, they are storming the board. Simple, he's a dead man. And yes, Crims makes it so. He's been up against Simple more than enough. Four to five. Fnatic. Showing us stuff on this CT side to love. Na'Vi though, another full rifle round, even without the AWP, gotta watch out. Already though, this, this is giving off like similar vibes to Overpass in that it was a storming start for Na'Vi. Then it took, you know, Fnatic breaking that streak, starting to establish themselves. The only difference here is, is they've done it way faster, right? Overpass, I think when you first go into it, you know, it's your first official. The nerves are maybe getting to you a bit. Oh. Na'Vi are brimming with confidence. But now that you've both had time to adjust to the ebbs and flows of this series, whoo! They never even uncovered the close player. Yeah, three outside strong for Fnatic. They don't know about Mezzi because Electronic died through the smoke. Mezzi never needed to give up his position here. And so that comes as a real nasty surprise to Boomich. Simple ran outside to grab the gun, but as soon as he realized Mezzi had taken that kill, he had to go back for it. He couldn't trade. What a weird round. What a read out of Fnatic that Na'Vi were going to take Yarl control as well. They even had Alex close red. He wasn't needed. He was evicted eventually. Three on five in these rounds that, you know, if the time was lower, Na'Vi would even consider saving. But you can't at this point. You've actually got some real estate, but only by design. Fnatic have given up ramp. Alex has now gone down secret to B through vents, so he's got lower. And that's why Giacchino can afford to just stick around, CT hell, watch outside, flash for his team, make sure he's not being heaven wrapped, which Na'Vi have tried more than once. Broden's about to get all the info in the world. Quick shot, traded by Simple. Giacchino not again timed, but luckily Messi's in the behind bit, a bit, still gets that frag. And now Na'Vi, knowing the orb went upper, are gonna drop down into the depths below. Yeah, Alex and Crims both here. Chiquinho moving in through ramp as well to try and pincer this. Bye -bye. Crims with the swing and simple as his attention is peeled away to look for that trade. That's when Alex hits him from the other side. I've got to say, I, I, I love some of these synergies. Like the Alex Crims synergy seems really there, man. They play off of each other well. That was even the case back on Overpass. Here, their little A site holds together have been beautiful. Hey, that was so nice, man. Crims is like, look, I'll get the bomb platter, Alex. You do the rest. Once I get that first, my fate is in your hands. Yeah, it's cool to see both teams boot camping as well, right? Like a lot of these rosters we've seen. For example, G2, everyone was at home. Everyone split up and, uh, and you know, makes all the difference. Considering the later we get, Harry, the later groups that we get C and D, these guys have not only had the player break, but they've had the entirety of Pro League so far to not only watch the competition, but prepare for it. And so everyone together, everyone begging for results. Fnatic are giving them right now. Navi a map up. This is their pick. This is their chance to close the series with no sweat. Fnatic are making them work for it. Alex, ooh, the timing. They actually chase him down. He escapes to the B-bomb site, but they're hot on his heel. Ramp Orb, Giacchino hits the shots. He has to, but the second one gets through. Can Giacchino stop the drop down towards B? He's getting walked on right now. Alex does get one on low, but he's very low, and he'll be finished off. Close player, Giacchino, missed shot. And with every missed shot, Simple gets closer. Mezzi will come in to save the day, and they've lost track of Electronic down lower. But he's lost the bomb. And with the bomb in hell, with this crossfire between, you know, uh, main at ramp and also this hell orb, I, I don't see a way that Electronic can do this. Every fight you're taking is a chance to get shot in the back, a chance to get double peaked. And so that's what's going to happen. Brolin gives him one to the back of the dome. 
And would you look at that? Fnatic are now in the lead. Six to five. Harry, you were drawing parallels to overpass. It was 8 1 there. This was 5 1 to Navi. You know, this is not quite the same comeback, but it's, uh, it's still Fnatic being down, but not being out. Yeah, and I can imagine, you know, it's probably no secret that Jaquinho was not happy with how that last map went, right? I imagine, like, you, we know Jaquinho is a very, very competitive guy. Someone who's also, like, a, a big realist when it comes to his performance. And he knows that if there was a bit more out of him there, that could have been a very different game. So I hope we're getting him coming into yeah. this. Seems really keen to make a difference. And I think already he's had more impact on this orb than what we got in that entire overtime affair. Yeah, he's been doing this uh, ramp push a lot. It was, you know, with two other teammates, a uh, push through the lobby for Crims and another ramp player of Bolon alongside him. Now they lose Crims. So they opt against the Broden. Careful, mate. Peeking in deep with a nade, it will do a lot of damage. My goodness. But Broden's tagged up as well. Chiquinho's gone back to this A site. He might need help. Messi is trying to do that in the hut, dropping Perfecto and escaping. But now Chiquinho hits his shot. Messi follows up. These two boys providing on the A site. And Simple gets down lower, but he's now in a clutch of the ages. And these ramp rotates have been so far simple. You might be screwed, but he manages to get out of there. Ooh, shots oh. at this, but Alex isn't going to give it over. Like that, just deal with the threat instantly. Don't even let him get the room. Yeah, Don't I even mean, let him pick up one. That is the danger the game. of being against Simple, isn't it? Yeah. It's like the idea of you look at the scoreboard, you go, oh my God, it's this guy. Yeah. And maybe you start to give him too much room. You give him too much respect. Fnatic had no intention to do that. Everyone at ramp was swinging. Everyone's rotating loud. No one's taking their time. It's yeah. all about trying to make Simple feel uncomfortable. And it doesn't get more uncomfortable than that. Exactly. And, and you know, great, clutch, uh, great shots for Jaquinho as well. You just hyping him up. He really hit the shots he had to there. He took down two on the A, the A site. Mezzi the same. And so, yeah, Fnatic one step closer to victory lane to Dust2, which is our third deciding map. Still got a long way to go. And hey, if Overpass was anything to base this map off, maybe there's more than just reg to be played. Another heavy outside round. Jaquino going to push with All the right. AWP. He's taking his spawn. We see you, Jaquino. Navi don't. It's an A execute. Look at them lining up. We've got a double boost on top. No, I was going to say, is there some brand spanking new utility coming in from Navi? Some mind bending grenades? Probably not. Just the normal lineups. Getting a backside molly in there for good measure. Chiquinho still hasn't seen outside control, but we've got Electronic climbing on top of the silo, and there's so many angles to watch for this sniper in such a dangerous position where you're going to be hard-pressed to leave. You don't even have a smoke if they molly you. So with AU till ready, will Na'Vi just pump and dump this top site? Well, Electronic's going to try and do a bit of a signature move here on this fast main wrap. Oh, he's actually just going to go back and rejoin them late. So there's no split from main. That gives Alex a lot more room to work with here. Admittedly traded after a double, but still it's tipped the scales to Fnatic. Oh. They deal with Mezzi up on top of the hut. It's another one of these vent drops. Fnatic have been dealt their fair share of these. Yeah, they even smoked out heaven this time around, Harry, as well. So Jaquino couldn't get that double that he did last time when they tried this exact same play. Now, are they going to be ready for this lobby lurk out of Perfecto? It's not uncommon. And so Crims will check for it. Electronic's going to try and make a big boy play up close to the ramp, wanting to remove the Fnatic players before they even launch this retake. <gasps> Simple Hello. playing trigger discipline. Hello. He's playing with his food. Crims, oh, oh, he's, he's literally oh. shut the door on him. But there's Simple swinging it back open. Bomb time is ticking away. Uh -oh. Jaquinho, oh, Simple's out of ammo. This is getting weird. This is getting wild. He takes them off the bomb and that shot might have done it. It's going to be close. And sadly, I think that one stray bullet has sealed oh. the fate of Fnatic. Oh, Na'Vi up on a six. Simple on a hope and a prayer locks in that round. What a play. They just let Krim sneak down the vent to welcome him into B. I thought the final bullet not connecting would have been enough to give Fnatic the defuse, even though Brolin domes him. Lined up and simple with a clutch. That's more like it. That's the star power, the X factor for Na'Vi. 
Oh my god, I thought the ramp player saw him coming down. They were looking right his way, but that's the last thing you expect, right? The position your teammate just cleared. Now back out. Not seeing Navi do a lot in the yard this game. They've crossed secret a couple of times. Alex dropping. Was that hurt? No. Electronic shot in the side of the head. And Alex trying to get out of dodge. Back to safekeeping behind red. Mate, Alex has was... been very proactive in the CT side as well. Yeah. No, that was a wonderful little outside play. Fnatic seemed very, very keen to meet Navi here. It was Giacchino trying it last time. This time it's me uh, sorry. This time it's Alex dropping bars outside. Fire track from him. Can't believe the audacity on this guy. And now he's over here in secret. It's a bit of a guessing game as to where he's ended up. Oh my goodness. Oh, but as he goes back outside, well, they just saw him here. Still, he's good for a double. I'll get traded out eventually, but it keeps Fnatic in this one in a four on three. Yeah, that's two rounds uh, Alex has started just going two for one. That's impressive. It really sets your team up to close. Is it going to be another vent drop attempt at an RV? This has really been what they've been left with in a lot of these situations. Oh, a bit. And only a bit of room behind the vent. There's a flash ready for Messi, and so he uses it. But Fnatic, they get met with utility from Na'Vi at the same time. Messi's dropped. It's just Crims at the back of the bomb site, having to anchor down strong with a double. He's read the third. Simple trades, two health, and 10 seconds with a bomb at the feet. And Brolin simple tries to grab it, but he's going to get shot in the back, surely. Quick tap, faked out, and Brolin won't fall for it. It's going to be Fnatic finding an eighth. What a neck and neck game, Na'Vi. It may be their map pick. They may be up in this series but they're having to seriously work for these rounds. Six is fine, seven is good. But there's no guarantees here. Not in this hood. Yeah, this is a bit of a treat to see, right? Because now we've this third man stepping up in Alex alongside that Brolin Mezzi duo that was so good. Crim's anchor work at this A bomb site can't be understated. And Chiquinho's looking fired up. On the flip side, simple and electronic looking, uh, looking clean for Na'Vi. But it's a bit of a quiet one for Perfecto to open up. And with Simple struck down right away, see Zed out on Alex. He's so hungry for more. How does he keep doing it? And this time he's not even trading. It's just another having, double. Yeah, just having B here is is a, a door shut in the face of Na'Vi. They can't go lower. They've got to fight him for it. Okay, yeah, sure. It is essentially two for one. Giacchino gets traded in heaven, but Fnatic are no complainers here. They can boost up Mezzi. Crims is calling for it, and that might be the perfect play. Got to worry about getting spammed on the bottom, but if Me uh, Mezzi can take down Electronic, that threat is gone. That's the one right. As he sees it, and now you both move out of position. Avoid that spam. Yeah. Downside now, oh. don't get that kill. You know that there's two players stuck behind default. They are so ready for Crims here. They've even got util that could have been used oh. to burn him out, but instead they try to run him down. And there's no getting past Crims's stranglehold on this A bomb site for Navi. Just perfecto left, and while he does have the bomb. He's all alone in a very scary world, dropping down to B. This is where Alex has been all damn round. He might be low on health, but he swings and wins. Now Fnatic, they've got that little three round advantage coming into this T side. Let's see what they've got up their sleeve. Already in towards Arms. lobby, silent as they go. Moving as a flock. Wings fluttering. A flock of Swede goals here. And they ran. Here we go, in towards Ramp Pugo. They're picking up the pace. Sweet goals coming for the chips. They'll nick them right out of your hands, but bit. Quick headshot. Mezzi gone. Bomb drop. You've got to commit at this point. And so they shall. The devastating results. Navi down two. Simple's still here, though. Oh, back of the head. No problem. Simple's ahead. And Brolin will trade him. This round still up in the clutches of Navi, as is the bomb. But Boomich stink down. He has util to use before he falls. Oh, 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 oh the CZ. It's so unforgiving. And that's the headshot onto Perfecto. Now, both of these players for Navi bought down low. And Perfecto is out of there like a, like a light. Bomb retrieved for Crims. Yeah. Him and Brolin now, the two Swedes on deck. 
And this round, they're hoping it's a sitter. Now it really is just Boomich left to beat. 12 points to health. This has either got to be one hell of a clutch or Fnatic are really establishing this lead. Yeah, there was really nothing to do once those dinks came in, right? Boomish has had to use all his grenades to at least try and find value. Fake flash, quick tap for 10 seconds. They won't give him anything. Crims wins the round and great job out of Brolin as well. Swedes keep it together in that 2vx and Fnatic pick it up 10 to 6. Now this is the start of something new. This is the start of you know, Fnatic trying to run away with this game, Harry. It's certainly attainable. Could happen. It's just got to be on the back of beating Na'Vi's force. And hell, if you saw Overpass, both teams consistently winning force buys on either half. So no easy feat here for Fnatic. Yeah, simple with the scout out as well. That's uh, Hearing that rally out is enough to put the fear in you if you're Fnatic. This tag team of Simple and Electronic outside is, is really like the left and right hook of this Na'Vi CT side. It can be so oppressive and they're already looking to bring that heat to open up this force. But Simple, oh, oh he missed the timing, does readjust in time and spots that close player. In comes some of these outside smokes. It's a pretty laboured outside take as far as they go. Fnatic aren't looking to jump the gun on this one, right? They're playing it pretty slow right now. They don't want to fall to these pistols. You don't want to have that opening kill go against you. The longer they take, though, the more a guy Ooh. like Electronic can get away with. Brolin's he gaming knows. the system here. And is still oh. trying to hold on outside, but he's now brushed aside. Two players left for Fnatic. This is going very, very wrong. Ooh. Grimm's left in this one on three, and he's wrapped by Perfecto's up. He locks in the round with a hop, skip, and a jump. It's seven on the board for Na'Vi. Oh, that's like uh, that's like some of the rounds. We saw our complexity on this map, right? Just deagles, spam, close to the heart, close to the door. Everyone dropping off roof and just shooting into the chest. Couple of shots well placed, and they steal the round away. Yeah, Electronic, it, you know, he knows the timings there. When he saw that uh, Brolin crossed behind Red, and then he checked it, he knew that Brolin could not have made it secret without running. So very aware he was inside of that smoke as well. Fnatic forced up now, going straight into A. Oh, but Perfecto, that could have been the lineup instead. As he's tagged, taps them out, and oh, another. This time from the Mac. Not a done deal yet. It's never over. Hell, it's over, as the old saying goes. And he will smoke off this point and rotation through heaven. Messi, oh. they leap onto <laughs> him. They were not expecting that. No, play. that is one of the like the last things going yeah. through your oh. mind. Oh, they're just going to run through the smoke and jump down into the yeah. site. Well, that's Heavily what they smoked. Do. Let's watch main for a second. Oh, OK, round's over. And yeah, that's why, why, why I mentioned the fear of the Na'Vi Ds and the fear of the Force. I feel like this is the hardest round in Counter-Strike right now. It's not even the guns. It's, it's when you're up against nothing. Deagles, body armor, and close positions. And now Na'Vi have started to steal away rounds on the CT side. Yeah, and, it, and it's like the trepidation that comes with that, right? Like the knowledge that your opponent has very little to lose in those rounds. They're playing it fast and loose. And so it kind of makes you oh, slow it down. That's a bomb. That was the bomb, yeah, outside. I mean, kind of run Glocks. Ramp. You know, I doubt if you're Fnatic, you're ever sat here going, all right, boys, this is our bomb plant. <laughs> yeah, that would be optimistic if uh, Alex, like, what's the hope? You get mowed down ramp, but then he runs secret, plants B. Not going to happen. Backwards jumping, and hey, what a lineup. You nailed the mowed down ramp part, yeah, though. <laughs> that was true. <laughs> Big right. Clean's house before the feds arrive. Uh, nine to 10, Na'Vi. Never a team to count out. Fnatic know that from overpass. But now the buy comes in, right? Now they've got everything. At least the second round, it had the caveat of you know, not, not only being against Deagles, but not having full rifles yourself. Now Fnatic have everything they need but rounds. Now if we win this, though, this is where they can look to slingshot themselves back into pole position. This is a bonus round attempt as well. And look at Simple. I love this position on top of the garage. It is so slimy, so grimy, and so simple. He's tapped out the first man, not even feeling the pressure yet. He knows he's kept them at bay outside. 
They're going to try and peek him from Silo. The simple oh. one step ahead has now dropped the bomb as well. This Org tearing through Fnatic. I think it's important to note that Alex has hit a bit of a gnarly timing on the secret uh, cross. Yeah. They saw that. Oh, just high behind the smoke. Shoot through it. Simple will. That's through the vent for crying out loud from Garage. The two players on the A site don't kill Crims, but Simple does. Set up for success, and yeah, even with Alex at B, it's, the door's off Arpa. You can't time the door together, can you? Usually you break a window, but uh, you just hope for the best here. Messi trying to get down the vent right now. He's made it alongside Alex, who's deeper than maybe they're ready for, but Navi don't run in gung-ho. They check it, and they see Alex taking space. Now they know what's going on, but Alex still delivers death to the first. Oh, he's a dead man. Oh, hang on a sec. The door closed again. They both pushed E on it at the exact same time. The bar. And so that has actually kept Alex alive. Now, it shouldn't be the thing that wins you the round, but imagine oh. if it does, Alex. He might be kept alive here. Finally, Electronic comes in and takes that round back. But imagine if that was your key to winning that two on five. Oh, yeah. My goodness. <gasps> Oh. Nice try, you gotta give it to him. Two on five, no pick up, but that was all down on the lower site, and Navi had the info the entire time. Nice shot out of Simple as well, he had a hell of a round. That's the vent spam, by the way. Ha! And look at these tippity taps from Alex, performing individually, right? He was, no, he was no weak player on overpass. I can't think of any rounds where he, you know, let the team down in a massive way. He had great rounds on, on B, but, uh, you know, he really took the cake uh, in the CT side of Nuke here, right? A lot of uh, secret control, beating Electronic at his own game, his outside play, and now doing things like that. It's not enough for a round. It's back to pistols for Fnatic. It's Na'Vi finding their second wind. There's still things to rely on. Ooh, saw the cross and hit the shot. Alex legged. Everyone else makes it down, though, and, well, talk of Electronic and Secret, here he is. Yeah, mate, this is the horrible thing about Na'Vi's outside, is it's like, even if you manage to get past Simple, well, then you end up facing Electronic, and so it really is like a rock and a hard place on this like map. like the worst would-you-rather in the world. Yeah, exactly. You either get to fight Simple at range with an AWP, or surprise attack from Electronic holding on to this lower site. Yeah, and it's super effective. He's got Molly ready. He's going to let them cross in. You know, against pistols, the aim is for Electronic. Just take shots, back up. Don't give them guns. Don't let them arm into B. Just farm instead. Electronic <laughs> laying the seeds in the ground, climbing up just in time. Boomich is ready in the vent to drop at a moment's notice. Not letting them up. Oh, he's going down. Boomich. Oh, the right there. Manage this. Bob's dropped. No one was watching it. With five in secret. No one in vent. And Boomich makes them regret it. Oh. Lurked on out up. Oh. He's done. Thing, but still crims with a shot. Perfecto spams him through hot. This round is a mess. No plant today. Perfection from Perfecto. And Boomish is here to play. It's Na'Vi now in the lead. Forget Fnatic comebacks. I don't know how no one's watching Ben. No, that, secret. that is a little out. bit sloppy. I, I, yeah. I thought the Boomich was a dead man when he's going down Ben. I was looking at that and I was going, well, that, that could be the point of rotation back to the A bomb side. What a crazy play. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's why we love Boomich, man. Yeah. Makes a fresh run. haircut as well. It just makes you feel better when yeah. you've got one. We're all just NPCs in a Boomich world. And here he is again, holding on to this attempt at a fast A play. They're going to try and main split. Oh, that's a nice flash to relegate Lovely. Electronic back to the doldrums. Brolin in the sight now. They know. Perfecto in the hut. They're going to trade him. Here's Boomich arriving back in main. Oh. A bit has dropped out of heaven at an alarming pace. They've just gotten past these sight players. They've just gotten in. And suddenly, Na'Vi have replenished <laughs> the ranks up oh. on A. Hello. Simple don't. Oh. Crims will cut him down. Simple trying to get caught cocky with it. Well, Crims has cock blocked him. And now we're into a two on two. Oh, no oh. trades. Not today. Not a bit in the A site. Lovely shots. I mean, that's just, that's optimistic at best. Flashing simple out. Oh, then you buy and the buy has to yield tangible results. Yeah, I think this is going to be a fake outside fast A play. That's the vibe given by this utility, right? They've already expelled a bunch of it towards outside, throwing those set smokes. 
forcing oh, a rotation oh. out of Electronic, but in reality, it's this A play. You've got a Whoa. smoke to rain in and block off main. You've got Molly's for the back site position. That's making Perfecto get uncomfortable. What? Electronic oh. is rubbing shoulders with Giacchino. Finally shut out, simple. Up in heaven with this AWP, does not want to give them a reason to win this round, so he's kind of tapering off, waiting for Bit to get set up over in main. And this means waiting for the smoke to fade. Oh. It's now been spotted, tagged on the first peak from that tech. And Simple, you know, he knows that when he swings this, the trade should be immediate. And so this round is likely undoable for him. He's going to get out of there. Wow. Fnatic steal it away with a fast A play. Fake outside smokes and they lock in 11. You know Fnatic are uh, commanding some respect when Simple in a 1v2 with a kit smoke with plenty of time gives it up to a save. Like, it's it's a good call from Simple, don't get me wrong. Like, that's a very hard clutch. And as you said, Mezzi was set up to swing on Crimson's contact. But, man, those are the rounds Simple goes for and often surprises you with. Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of that decision comes off the back of, like, when he peeks over, he saw a player run back to hut, right? And then as he peeks, he hears, I think it was Krim shooting up at yeah. him from under heaven, and he's like, well, yeah. you know, he's a very smart guy. We all know that about Simple. He just plays that out in his head, and he goes, the moment I get even one of these, the other guy's in a position to trade me. And so yeah. it would just be losing the ore, flat out guaranteed. Yeah. Nothing wrong with the play. Just uh, surprising to see. Simple, though. He wants to surprise them outside. He unscoped at the wrong time, and they might have seen him there as well. If you see Simple scoped on you, Silo, you don't repeat. And so Mezzi resets back in the lobby. Simple's got to go elsewhere, looking for kills. Electronic climbing up, and Simple going wide outside. Okay. They're holding, but they have nades out right now. Simple. Oh, lightning fast. And he grabs Brolin as well. Barely an arm or a leg. Smoke on red can get him back out into safekeeping. Fnatic aren't interested outside now. It's just one man, and they don't even know about Electronic on tippity top of the garage. They try and go wide. Electronic's got Alex, and now this A attack has stalled out to a halt. Crims does get it going again, but with no main smoke, that's open season. Jaquino trading, and again, dropping down the vents is what worked for Na'Vi so many times. Fnatic will give it a go. Oh, mate, Simple's giving chase, and Bit is already down in this B bomb site. The Simple Bit combo, it, it might be the new thing, mate. It might be yeah. the, the new Simple Electronic. This is beautiful. And Simple is now wrapping Jaquino. Oh, 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 oh he no. wants to disrespect him. Jaquino yeah. would have been on his way to getting knifed and Simple's like, look, I'll just steal the round. I'll just lock yeah. it in. Kind of fun today. 13-11. Na'Vi still building. <laughs> and with that round going their way once more, there's money problems on the horizon for yeah. Fnatic. The fact that he's even trying to go for that play is, shows the, the mindset of Na'Vi right now. Man, you know, I made that comment about like the, the bit simple wombo combo. Yeah. In reality, like they don't really lean into playing on the same side no. here, right? I mean, it might be right more threatening. now, this, 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 this simple electronic outside hold is incredible. Like Work this AWP yet again. We'll have to see what the call is from Alex. Is sneaking into the lobby slow and steady. And yeah, like I said, Simple's now ramped. First time he's been there, perfect round for it. He's going to drop lower, letting Bit take the mantle now. So they are playing not far apart, and this boost on ramp will find nothing but sound for Bit. He hears the scope, he knows they're trying, and he might even call for Simple to come back up, although he's too far. It's just Bit on his own, but he's a man for the job. First kill, he's got to clear the corner, and he's got to dink with him. That's a good hold for Bit. You can be happy with that. A frag and a half. Bolin still holds the lobby. Especially because like, if you're Fnatic, you don't know where Simple is. And so you're very, very paranoid about a hell rotation to hold this ramp yeah. push. That alone, like combined with the dink, might just send you away from ramp and now yeah. into this A bomb site. Navi gambling B as well, so this is dangerous. Perfecto needs some incredible hold here. Do they have a Molotov? It's not in Brolin's hands. Alex and Mezzi are in the wrong position to throw it. It finally comes in. Perfecto forced out into the open. And like said, with Navi leaning B, it's only the Heaven player smoked off, mollied off rather. Boom, uh, electronic. Out of the round, Boomich on a big flank right now, and the timing is good. He could spam out. Alex dead in the water. Mezzi going for the stick. Full faith in that plant. But now the retake is on for Na'Vi. 
Messi is not in a nice spot either. Like, with, with the retake smoking up in heaven and him having to just fight for his life with this orb, he should be dead. Yeah. And there's Electronic dropping onto him. This round was teed up for Brolin to try and win it from main. It's down with the first, but can he follow <gasps> up? Info. Jump across, he spots Simple, but Simple's seen him too. And when you're up against that guy, you've got maybe one shot to make it count. Yeah. Nice try. Even, you know, gets the information out with that little fake jump. If he peeks it, he's dead. But the jump at least gives him, uh, you know, a second chance. But Simple wins it on the first. And he's nearing 30 as well, as are Na'Vi, looking for the 16-11. And not far away from it, another buy comes in off the back of the bomb plant. Fnatic made the best of a bad situation, right? With Ramp not going their way and no commitment down lower. I think that simple hell orb you're talking about is definitely a factor there. But they could never find him until it's already too late. Na'Vi, this could be a dominant 2 Well, not a dominant 2-0, rather, but a statement 2-0. With the form we've seen from Fnatic today, if Na'Vi 2-0, I think that gives them even more credit. Say new team all you want. I think Fnatic have more to show us in this tournament and maybe still in this series. Brolin taking down Electronic outside. Ecto in a smoke in lobby. This is going to come down to timing and maybe even a bit of luck. Crims is in a great angle for it though. Yeah, but Crims also has to... Oh my god. Oh my god. Chiquinho can't catch a break. Yeah. It feels like... He's like, yeah, man, no one could be hot, right? <laughs> <laughs> says, no, and the smoke I'm fades it. as he's coming to the ladder. Like, <laughs> okay. Alex. okay, Alex. Okay, Alex. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. And look who's ramp. No one. They're down B, mate. If Brolin can just keep up the attention of the lower players, all a bit of noise for Brolin would sell this a long way. Bits watching it, but not always. And Alex has hit a sneaky beaky timing. He's seen the legs. Oh. Knife out. Alex wants to get there fast. Brolin playing with the door, playing with the minds and hearts, but Alex is here for the round. This could still get weird, though. That kill's coming, but don't forget that Simple's been waiting here the whole damn time. Brolin will surprise him on the swing. And so the round looks to be Fnatic's after all. It's like Brolin. overpass, man. Alex's space, the, the, the positions he's able to get himself into on these T-sides is incredible. I don't know how he does it so, so often, right? Like, Boomich was doing that T-side here by wrapping heaven and, and stuff like that, but Fnatic, they use that hell control to go down lower. Even think of the round where Alex walks through the A site off the back of the B execute on overpass and flanks heaven. They lost the round, but it came very close. It is exciting seeing Alex leading a team with this kind of firepower as well. And the roles seem refined. Fnatic seem fine. Up to 12 still in this matchup. But Na'Vi still with money. Yeah, I almost wonder if we see Simple go for one of these audacious, you know, like really pushing the envelope kind of plays back towards outside again. Because in these last few rounds where it's been, you know, him being that first guy to drop down B, it feels like he's kind of not getting the impact we want out of him. Plus, Electronic's been having a bit of a mare outside. So yeah, we have Simple oh. back at it again, trying to put this orb to use right away. Had a chance to find Jaquino, but the shot does not connect. He's still on this angle. And with him anchoring this position, okay. Boomich is actually going to try and take real estate. Flash dodged for Mezzi, but Boomich can get out of there with a kill and be perfectly happy with it. There's Simple helping him out. And you know they're going ramp. They saw them grouping radio. Even though Mezzi dodged the flash, he couldn't hit the shot in time. And so Fnatic... They get ramped for free, but it's only by design. Na'Vi give it away. Gambling again, or stacking rather, on that lower site. It's not even a gamble. You still have three on top. You are fine. You have everything. And even electronic in the back of the garage. You can't clear this from hell. You have to clear it from main. And there's too many angles to watch at that point. Crims is going to go hunt, hunting for this. Electronic just peeks out and takes the freebie. They're going to dedicate a lot of time to clearing this position. And in that time, Perfecto can come in from heaven. Electronic's trying to bait shots. Good flash. Brolin capitalizes. But a two on five needs to be won here to keep Fnatic away from map point. Chiquinho's going heaven with the bomb. Oh, my goodness. If this gets dropped up here, the round is done. What? Ah! Oh, oh, no! no. Chiquinho! Two oh, shots. Oh, no! Yeah, 
Yeah, that that is no. There's no buttering that one up, Harry. Yeah, that had to happen. He had to hit one, and it, like I never wasn't even watching. Didn't no, even realize. That, that's just pressure, mate. Like yeah. the dude isn't even looking at you. You had all the time you needed to make that shot happen. Mm. And as we were saying, you know, taking the bomb heaven, that was the risk. Like, if you went main with Brolin, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you would have been in a better spot, right? Because then they've only got yeah. to watch this one angle. That should have been the kill. It's, 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 all, it's even a waste of time criticizing yeah. the play because the no, play is that's fine. Just a whip, the shots yeah. are oh. not. The oh. shots are not, Harry. And that oh. might cost you the map and even the series. That's such a shame because at least on the first map, we had that caveat of like, okay, yeah, Giacchino, he's not performing, he's missing, but he is winning clutches and he still won two 1VXs in the first map. There's no oh. justifying that one. Commiserations to Fnatic fans around the world, but Na'Vi are poised and ready to close in a 2-0. Run boosted onto Garage. Oh, he oh, can't get there. That would have been very so close. Silent. Doesn't matter, they're not outside anyway. Flashed off the shot. Crims gets down vent, and this round starts weird. Yeah, Bit has been dispatched to try and deal with this one vent drop player. I like what Crims is doing here. A lot of players would dedicate time towards working this B site instead. Crims is coming outside to try and serve a bit of purpose at helping his teammates nullify some of these angles and assist in the outside take. He can now call, like, no one's pushed up rev. We don't have to worry about simple getting aggressive here with that AWP. The only place they could be is Garage, and so now we have those outside smokes going in to cut off Electronic's angle. But it's not the outside play. Instead, Fnatic have grouped up back in the lobby. Oh, and into oh. Simple at ramp they go. Oh, this could be it. Simple, a shooting gallery, a chance to show off with the AWP, and show off he shall. It's a